Succession doesn't miss a beat as its Murdochian family feud continues the main event, however, again boils down to family patriarch Logan Roy and his son Kendall, who wages a one-man war for control of Waystar, while seeking to pick off support from other members of his immediate and extended corporate family, testing the transactional nature of their loyalties. Amid all the twisted family dynamics, Kendall remains the awkward heart of the show, a guy desperate to prove that he can take a joke who looks profoundly uncomfortable when he hears one. His father, he notes rightly, isn't the indestructible figure he represented in the past, yet he's still plenty formidable, prompting Kendall to ask, can I do this? Can I win? Series creator Jesse Armstrong essentially turns the question into a season-long proposition based on the seven episodes previewed, which again demonstrate an extraordinarily savvy year for corporate deal-making but also politics, with Logan relishing his ability to influence the latter and eldest son Connor still harboring vaguely delusional political ambitions. Adrian Brody, Hope Davis and Alexander Skarsgård are among those who appear as major financial players in later episodes, as the Roys explore various options in their efforts to save the company. As with a veep, much of the dialogue is gleefully vulgar, and the episodes get better and better as the season progresses, from the backstage maneuvering at a shareholder's meeting to an insanely over-the-top birthday party. Succession has no shortage of company in pulling back the curtain on the outwardly glamorous lives of the super-rich exposing the insecurities and family grievances that lurk underneath. As for that Game of Thrones comparison, the battles on succession don't leave a trail of bodies in their wake. But as meticulously constructed, the collateral damage associated with losing this game might be the next worst thing. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.